Hey YouTube, I'm doing an eight month update on my Harbor Freight Hallmaster cargo basket and crossbar, universal crossbar set. Um, it's been since August the 13th of last year, 2023, when I updated the first initial video. Since then, we've had it on the car full time. Um, even when it's not loaded, I just leave it on the car because it's obviously either easier than trying to find some storage space, you know. So I just leave it up there. Um, let's go over it real quick. What I did was I cut these down with a uh, um, Sawzall uh, and I took them off. I primed them. I used that special primer. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's uh, good for uh, aluminum. Um, it like binds to it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I gave it about three or four coats of industrial black um, paint and let that dry and cure for you know, three days or so. And then I put them on uh, very gently and locked everything down. Um, going around the unit, it hasn't developed any rusty stains. Um, that was one of the big comments from people on uh, Harbor Freight's website. Um, we haven't seen any issues with rust and we have gone through winter up here in Seattle area with a lot of rain, a uh, little bit of snow, drizzle, sleet, everything else like that. So it has been exposed. My wife drives this car every day, Monday through Friday to work. Um, and we haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it's still rock solid. Uh, we did use it to go camping. Uh, one time we went to the uh, uh, one of the state parks up here and loaded down the basket and used ratchet straps on it to hold everything down. And we also, we covered it up with a net and then we used ratchet straps to hold everything down. So that worked out real good. Um, I mean, there's not much to say about it. Um, the little scuffs and stuff that you might see here and there, that was from the shipping packaging. Um, it's always been there. It wasn't from us or anything that, that we've done. Um, I will say I only take this car through touchless car washes, the ones that don't have brushes. Um, I didn't want uh, the paint on this car, on my wife's car, to get messed up or have swirl marks or anything like that. So we just keep it touchless. Um, I guess it, it may be be a problem if you go take it to a car wash that has a lot of brushes and stuff you may have some more pulling and tugging and you know moving around of this thing i don't know but i have this thing locked down really tight it's not going to go anywhere um wind noise we don't notice it when we're driving down the road we can talk to each other me and my wife um we don't really notice it um but i will say when we have the sunroof open that's when you can hear the air coming along and hitting this this uh, plate right here. It's not that bad. It's not annoying. We don't drive 70 miles an hour with the uh, sunroof open either. We're just tootling around town, maybe getting up to 40, 50 miles an hour or something like that. And uh, it's not bad at all. So again, for the price that we paid, we're really happy with it. Um, nothing has come loose. I guess uh, that attributes to not taking it through the, the car washes with the brushes, but nothing's loose. All the screws are tight. Nothing has moved their way out or, you know, anything like that. Um, all the adjustment knobs are nice and tight. I have no issues with this thing at all. It's been working great. Um, and if I were you, I wouldn't hesitate to try it out. So y'all have a good one. Until next time. If you liked the video, please subscribe, turn on notification, and comment below. Thank you.